So, you are on the internet using a web browser. You know, that thing with the address bar and back button and bookmarks. That thing you're in right now, up there. Yeah, that's your web browser. If you're like me, when you're on your computer, you spend something like, I don't know, 90% of your time on the internet in a browser. There's emails, chatting, you're reading news, watching videos, playing games, you're buying things, just to name a few. Which kind of makes the web browser the most important program on your computer. And if you think about it, it hasn't always been this way. You see, web browsers were first designed a long time ago with the old internet in mind. You know, back when it was slow and mainly just words with links that just send you to more words with links, back before all of these innovations. So some guys at Google asked, what if we redesigned the web browser from scratch with an eye towards the new web? You know, maps, video, and web apps that are a lot more dynamic. And so they created Chrome, a web browser that's crazy fast on today's internet. And it's sleek and more secure, but mostly it's really fast. I mean, my biggest question when I boot up my computer is how long till I get on the internet, right? I mean, if there isn't any internet, I might not even use my computer. Did you know that even the fastest computers will still take like 45 seconds to boot up? 45 seconds! You can make a sandwich in that time. So here's what's going on when your computer's booting up. There's this list of things to do, stuff I'm sure you don't care about, but it cranks through them one at a time. What you probably notice is that your programs begin loading up slowly, and if you're like me, as soon as you see your web browser icon appear, you're like double-clicking it over and over and over. Let's go, buddy, I got some emails to read. Well, all of this stuff is called your operating system. And over time, it gets rusty, and your once fresh computer gets slow. Well, Google was like, wait a second, if your operating system's a hassle and all you're really using it for is to get on your web browser, to get online, then maybe, well, maybe we don't need this anymore. What if when you pressed on, you were on the internet in seconds? What if your browser was your operating system? And, and so check this out. This means that you don't have to deal with, with managing programs or, or nagging updates or lost files or confusing settings or blue screens of doom and, and there's no nagging updates, just your browser. Which means you can still listen to music, you can watch movies, interact with friends, you're creating documents, you're playing games, you're writing your emails, you're doing all of this stuff that you were already doing on the internet. But here's the thing, none of this is stored on your computer. What? None of it, you ask? Yeah, none of it. Really nothing? Yeah, nothing is stored on your computer. Well, where is it? It's on the internet. You know, like when you access your emails from your computer and your phone, the email, it isn't stored on either device. So if everything's stored on the internet, then your phone, your computer, all of these devices are what people call stateless, which is kind of a big word. So maybe just remember this. Chrome is a totally rethought web browser and you can download it right now on your computer. But Chrome OS is a totally rethought computer that lets you stop worrying about your computer so you could focus on the internet which is what most of us use our computers for nowadays anyways.